So this is our hello world. Well, let's start working with empty activity. So I will delete uh, hello world. And I bring right now a button that I want to work with my application. So I will find button on the left side. So I'll drag and drop button. And apparently this button will be not constrained to any of those uh, of the borders, left, right. So if you run the application right now, your button pretty much will stick to the upper left corner, which is not desirable. So I want this button to be somewhere in the middle. So I will set up the constraint from the left border. So that's actually the uh, the circle is means set constraint to the left. This circle on the right means set constraint to the right. And basically, uh, you see on the right side uh, navigation line. Actually, this uh, this line will give you uh, possibility to move a button to any location you want. So let's just go with 50%. So it'll be just exactly in the middle. Second, I may need to uh, bring the text view for the title of my application. There'll be just text view somewhere in the middle as well. And double click on this and uh, make a text with a name Click button. So they will be just simply the text that I just want to be on the top. And I can change uh, the text size if I open view properties. And uh, I will go to the property text size. And can specify in how much I want. For example, let's go with the 36. That's probably be what we want. And uh, we can change the index color as well. Just pressing these three dots. Uh, switch to color and change, say, for, uh, for example, to hollow green dark. Okay. So let's go back. Uh, so we didn't set up any constraint for this uh, text view, so I would advise to use left and right constraint to the in the same way like we did for button one constraint with the top the click button will be constraints from the top um, so basically this is the place where we want to increase right now the distance so if you uh, press on that text you ID to for, and expand distance to 16 or 24. You see basically how we increase the distance between uh, north border and text view. And also we'd like to set up constraints here between button and uh, text view. So it's 8 right now, we can put to 16. Or make it uh, tw also 24. So that will be uh, basically constraint that decide constraint that uh, define distance between text view and button, and run the application. So in this case, uh, the constraint is according to our needs, and button it works. So if you uh, right now want to change position, you could just go with one button on the uh, top and uh, the text is going down. So this will be just another things to do it. So uh, probably drag and drop would be the best if you would do this change, but but we cannot do it, right? Because we just restricted with the constraint right now. We go, we can go down, but we just cannot jump over the button. So what we need to do right now, we have to press clear all constraints. And when you clear, it basically can go uh, in any directions as we want. This uh, red, red cross means you can you don't have any constraints right now at this moment. 
and let's do the same again so we will uh, connect constraints right now to the appropriate uh, positions and uh, probably it will be satisfied with this uh, how it looks like right now and press for constraint run again and button right now will be on the top side by pressing button we want to uh, count uh, button clicks so basically we want uh, this field will be reflect how many times we uh, click the button right now we want to attach a method to the button so the kind of like uh, callback that method that will be called when button is clicked so just press on the button find on click property and write this method let's make it very simple on click and press enter so once we press enter this uh, this method is attached to this button so we have to implement this method right now in main activity so how to save our time just go back to the text tab find this method on click click on this method wait for this yellow orange bulb on the left side select create on click view in main activity and this method will be inserted to uh, main activity and it will be redirected to write this method right now okay so what we're gonna do in this case we want to uh, access the text field which is click button and for example check change the text button clicked so text view uh, click button has id text view so we can go back to main activity and first of all we have to find this uh, view by id so we have to find view by id r dot id dot um, text view and basically uh, once you found it we have to save it in the uh, variable text view let's make an example like this so we have to import uh, library android widget text view so please uh, press alt enter to do it so once you press alt enter the library is added on the top you can type it if you want and second we have incom incompatible types so we have to convert uh, the right side to result of the left side so in this case uh, we have to do the casting we have to write the name of the class we want to cast and finally we want to change the text once you press the button so text dot uh, set text and uh, we can change to button clicked something like this so this will be simple uh, button click uh, demo so let's uh, go back to to the application and let's run let's run again now let's see what happened so we have the same uh, interface so once you press button you have text button click and uh, of course nothing happened with uh, extra clicks because we did not implement second third and any consequent clicks so what i would like would like to do right now i want uh, also to display the number of clicks when i click the button so it's very easy to update so i would say here we need one more variable that will be updated when uh, the button is clicked so let's uh, assign initially variable number of clicks to zero 
And let's every time when you uh, click uh, on the button, number of clicks variable will be increased. And we can actually add this number of clicks variable to uh, existed message. You can just delete this dots and uh, make it a little bit better with word times. Let's try to run it after update. Okay, click button, button click the first time, second time, and so on. So it was a short video how to create uh, the first application and process button click. Thanks a lot.